Playmakers. Okay. Out of my wrist, count of the spinning. Man at the coop, mine with no tennis. Chop out the top, hit it the limit. I got some What's up, y'all? Trey B. Devin in the building. You know what time it is. Very exciting day today, man. Um, although the motor has been started and put together and the engine bay has been done, I feel like this will be the actual start of the build. That's right. So today, the motor gets dropped. So stay tuned. Now, that I will assume there are some of y'all who have not seen the, the, the current prelude in, in question. Um, I have showed it a few times, but for those of you who are not aware, I'm going to show you Champagne. That's right. I named the prelude Champagne. You're going to see why in a second. Let's go outside. Take a look at it. Ooh, we, you know what I'm saying? Take a look. Take a look, my boy. This is Champagne. She a little rough around the edges right now. But when I'm done with her, it's gonna be a polished gem. You feel me? So yeah, me and Kenny gonna get this thing pushed into the shop and uh, get cranking. Hey, first of all, I want to shout out to everybody who became a member over the past uh, two weeks. I am able to see exactly who you guys are, um, which is definitely um, going to be good stuff when I do my first members only giveaway. If you guys aren't aware and you're watching this video, my memberships are live. When you hit that join button and you become a family member or AKA the Trey B. Dean gang, you know what I'm saying? You can officially become part of the family. All right, as you can see, I got the car inside. I got the motor inside. I got the hoist inside. I'm pretty much ready to get started. So uh, one thing to note, obviously, I can't really do a full tutorial as far as uh, swapping the motor in because there's no motor in there. Um, and that's like half the battle. But uh, with that being said, it's not really gonna be a tutorial, but I am definitely bringing you guys along for the ride. So um, the bait is pretty much prepped. All I gotta do is drop the motor in. A couple things that I wanted to show you guys is I do have solid mounts for this car. Those are the trans and driver's side and then of course the rear mount is already in there. Now typically you would be running the front mount too, but usually with turbo builds, um, the front mount that has a bracket right here and with the turbo and the piping, there's gonna be usually no way to run the front mount, <clears throat> which is why usually typically when people go turbo, they get the solid mounts. It is better for performance wise, but um, mainly you can't run three OEM mounts. It just doesn't work. You need the solid mounts. So got the solid mounts motors ready to drop and of course there's some components missing that i'll get on there whenever the um motor is in there but man look at this manifold bro -wee. this is the 850 fab um mini ram horn it is super sick v-band clamps super sick can't wait for this to drop in
Hey. Hey, man. I'll tell you one thing. Having that engine leveler makes all the difference. Especially when, you, when you're doing it solo. But, hey. You know what I'm saying? I'll show y'all. The motor is in. So, the motor is in. Got the solid mounts. Obviously, like I was telling y'all before, with the solid mounts, you don't run the front mount. And pretty sure the stock cross member is coming out anyway. Probably going to put a traction bar in there. Way more space when you're talking about um, fabbing up the downpipe and dump tube situation. But yeah, um, still missing a few parts. Need the dizzy. I also need the starter. Um, a few other things. But for the most part, all I got to do now is go through and button everything up. Put the fuel line on, the shift link cables, and basically start plugging stuff in and getting everything situated. Um, the plan for me is I do plan on replacing the stock fuel rail with like an aftermarket one. So I can run a fuel pressure regulator, stuff like that. Um, a decent one <clears throat> and um, little things here and there but the game plan kind of is to leave it more or less how it is now um, and just get it running first once I get it running then I can start to attack the the, the details like the injectors the fuel rail um, actually getting the turbo and stuff on there so my goal right now like I said is mainly is to just kind of get it running um, kind of as is for the most part and then once I can confirm that it's running then from there then I'll start attacking stuff but yeah man it's crazy to actually finally see this motor in this car man that is crazy the engine bay is a little dusty but ain't nothing a little water a little pressure wash can't solve um, I should have did it before I dropped the motor but I was so excited I was just like man I'm just gonna get this joint in here but yeah, again, I am keeping AC. Um, I'm keeping power steering, everything, keeping everything, uh, except um, cruise control. We ain't getting no cruise control, but we're getting AC and we're getting power steering. So you guys remember when I took the ABS unit out? So I got plenty of space right here. It's, it's coming together, man, it looks good. It's just crazy to finally see this thing in the car Whew. so yeah man these videos may be shorter kind of quicker and to the point um i don't want to make this like a super long dragged out series as far as like the length of the videos whatever i'm doing i'm gonna record it i'm gonna get it right you know get you the information right away um but this is pretty much as far as i'm gonna get with this part of the video um stay tuned next I like to say I'm going to be buttoning up and getting, basically getting it to the point where I can get it started. And now if I'm, if I can't get the parts that I need to move forward with trying to get it started, um, then I'll move on to the suspension because I do have, I mean, when I say a full suspension kit, upper, lower control, um, or I'm sorry, upper control arms, lower ball joints, inner outer tire rods, all of that. I got um, coilovers, everything. So I do have more videos if I can't um, get the parts I need to try to get it ready to get it started. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hit that like button. Check out the memberships. Uh, the link is in the description below. But with that being said, like the video, become a member, you know what I'm saying? Show some support. Um, and you see that right there? Yeah, that's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Playmakers. Okay. Out of my wrist, count it and spin it. Man at the coupe, mama no tennis. Chop out the top, hit it and lean it. I got some.